Hey, this is Liam. And you know, I'm not one to complain normally. But man, I gotta complain about uh, campaign mode in, in Tekken. And you know, I, I love a mode where you go through in, in a true beat-em-up style. You go through levels and beat up people and stuff. And that's great. I'm gonna go with my man. Uh, this time, let's go back. Hector-san. I like his kicks. He got me through uh, the Uranami stables, so he's cool. Now, here's my first problem with this, is this map. I hate this map more than anything else in the world. I am okay with, like, the Super Mario World map, even though, yeah, I really can't play Super Mario World. I'm okay with that map. That's my idea of a map. Um, I, I wouldn't mind a, na uh, a map where the lines maybe snap to or something. But no, there's, there's nothing. So... I happen to be on this level. I know you're sitting here going, well, Liam, you're on a level. And th that's fine, yeah. But all right, I'm looking, like, let's say I want to find another level or something. Look, I'm, a, I'm out in no man's land now. And uh, there's no way to tell where I am. So in case I go wandering, well, there's nothing. So what I really, I could, would love an ASCII map. I know it's not going to happen, but... But Namco, could you please, you know, you guys do really good games. Could you please maybe make something where, like, oh, I don't know. We actually know where we are. What would be awesome is uh, if you played Urban Rain, all you do is just move from map to map. But I know this is kind of cool for an overworld. You can actually see where you are, and and that's cool, and I'm okay with that. Um, but I really wish I could get some sort of feedback on, like, where I am. Could, could I maybe get, like, a ping to tell me, oh, you're on a level. Now I'm sitting here hitting the shoulder buttons. I don't even know if that does anything. Again, no feedback. I don't know. It could be spitting the map around, but I don't know. So, anyways, here's my other problem. Let's now see. Look, I lost where I was going. I thought it was up there, but because I was wandering around, I lost my level. All right, so this is how we solve this problem. We're just going to go, you know, pick a character again. But see now, if you want to find like the arena, you're screwed. You're not going to be able to do it. And it's the only way to unlock ending endings in this game. Pectosan. So anyways, we're going to play as Peck. Now, the game, for me, gets way too hard, way too fast. And I understand that I'm a blind guy playing a sighted person's game, and, and that's fine. You're going to have your limitations, and that's cool. But, man, it really gets hard fast. All right, so let's go. Come on, Elisa. All right, guys. I love using uh, Bex Kicks. Now, see where I'm in a huge disadvantage is there's probably, like, a weapon laying on the ground. And, of course, you know... Now, also, too, I know there's a targeting system. I have no idea how it works because obviously I couldn't read the text in the tutorial. Like, I'm sure there's just tons of things laying around that I can pick up. But, now what are you gonna do? Okay, now these guys, I'm assuming they've got some sort of, like, electric thing going on. You know, the, the music is very Urban Rain-esque, if you've ever played that, uh, for PlayStation 2. It is, like, one of my favorite beat-em-ups. And this music, I, I know Namco made the game, but it is really Urban Rain-esque. The other problem, too, is when you kick, when you hit somebody, they seem like they guard everything. Now, thankfully, like, Alyssa's holding her own for the most part. At least, I'm, oh, I'm going to assume she is. See, someone's almost dead, I bet. Now, the fact that we're picking those up, at least that I might be picking those up, is just luck. And look, we're done. And, um... Thus my point, it gets way too hard, way too fast. Um... But you know what? That being said... It's fun. 
And that's the most important thing, is it's fun. Uh, should we give it another go? We got time. Usually my mainstay for this game is Brian Fury. Look at those. Again, my really my big problem is that you know, there's probably a flamethrower or some sort of weapon that I can use. Well, the big problem is, is it's not like I can just easily know that. Oh. And you bust open crates, you're not going to know what's in them and where that stuff is. Now, I should really demonstrate maybe one day. I, it would translate well to YouTube, but I should translate how this stuff can be modified or at least show you an audio system how you can do this because it's doable I know Namco will never do it that's okay I wish Elisa would step it up and fight better I always kind of feel like that you have to save her more than her saving you. You know, if you're made by Dr. Viskanovich, you should be much cooler. Actually, oh, see, that's my problem. These dudes have like something going on. But we're actually making progress, and this is amazing. Yeah, I know I spam the hell out of this kick. What do we got? Ooh, more guys. Alright, and this is going to uh, go into part two, so we will see you in part two.